Next into the den, two entrepreneurs wary of one particular dragon. We are worried about Peter because he's really scary. I hope he doesn't go for the kill. But to survive in the den, they'll also have to face the fire of four other dragons. Hello, dragons. My name is Michal Takáč. And I'm Tim Inskip. And we are from Caron, UK. Uh, we're asking for an investment of £50,000 for 15% of our business. We have the UK rights to the Caron portfolio products, which are all made from cannabis sativa plant extract. Mikhail, would you like to explain your story? I am from the Czech Republic and I was working in the UK when industrial accident changed my life. I damaged my arm and I lost several fingers on my hand. Amazing energy surgeons transferred the toe from my foot to my hand. During that times, the pain was unbearable and the scarring was extensive. Visiting Frank from the Czech Republic brought me the Caron hemp ointment and another hemp products. I started using them and the results were incredible. So I like to share this experience with others. And I approached Caron Czech Republic and brought these products to UK. So we have uh, 18 different products ranging from face cream, uh, shower gel, hemp leaf tea and hemp seeds. And they're all made from cannabis sativa, commonly known as hemp. We are vegan, organic and totally legal as the products contain none of the psychoactive elements found in, in cannabis, but they're very high in the other elements known as cannabinoids, which are currently proven to be beneficial in treating many different uh, uh, complaints. We're passionate about uh, cannabis sativa, but we are um, plainly retail amateurs Mutters. and we need the help of a dragon to guide us, to manage our growth and uh, fulfill our full potential. Thank you very much for your attention and we have some samples which you would like to show. Would it be possible that we have the samples <coughs> at the end? Because I'm slightly worried if I have to take any of the samples, I might make a wrong investment decision. They have no psychotropical effect whatsoever. Yeah. Now they've reassured the dragons the products aren't mind-altering, Tim Inskip and Mikhail Takarch can get on with the business of handing them out. Thank you. Okay, this is selection of stuff in there. They're looking for £50,000 for 15% of their business selling cosmetics made with a cannabis extract. But Peter Jones is still confused about the legalities of the operation. How can you convince me that this isn't a potential front for a, a big drugs ring? <laughs> We have, the, we have EU certification. The all EU certification, all the farmers are certified. There is very strict uh, law oversee uh, these farmers. What's stopping the company in Czech Republic, the temptation to realise that they make a small amount of money on this, but the real business behind the scenes is cannabis? They're growing the different plant entirely, and it's, it is illegal to grow different plants. What would make it restricted is the level of THC, which is the psychoactive component of the hemp plant, which it doesn't have. So essentially it's legal, it's not a restricted substance. OK, so I'm not going to be an investor in some sort of illegal drugs. No, ring. absolutely not, Peter. We can assure you about that. And you've given three different creams here. The one's a balm. As, as well as balm. Yeah. yeah, and then these are, is an ointment. Yep. Is it all the same product? Si no. OK. Is this a cosmetic or is it a medicine? At the moment, we market it as the cosmetics. We don't make the claims it, it helps people and we sell it as the cosmetics. But isn't, isn't that a major problem because A, you can't tell anyone what the product does, you just said it's an all-purpose hemp ointment. I don't know if it's to moisturise and make my skin glow, I don't know if it's to reduce pain for, um, you know, joint pain or injury that I've got. This does have um, medical device certification in the EU, in Czech Republic. They have run the trials. We are talking specifically about this product to get a medical device in the UK. The point is that the evidence is that it does help in a very, very wide range of different complaints, problems. But we cannot say that we are going to cure any of this. But I know you definitely can't say that you don't have a medicine's license to say that. But what I'm saying is that you don't know what the product's for. Who owns the company Karen? Uh, my friends in the Czech Republic. Your friends? Yes. How I mean... much of the company do you own? Uh, none. None? The Czech Republic, nothing. No. Nothing? Basically, our relationship is that Mikhail developed some of the products in the Czech Republic, brought them over to the UK. And tell me, what's your deal with this company? 
They are my close friends. So you've got to buy from them? Yes. yes. Is there a minimum quantity you have to buy? No. And your license with them is last for how long? Uh, to 2023 at the moment. And can they terminate your contract at any time? No. no. C can I look at that agreement? Yes, yes. Tim, what's your role in this business? Are you, a, are you an equal shareholder? Uh, no, I'm a minor shareholder at the moment. Uh, so the shareholders split how? I only have 10%. Yeah. I got a, I got a 60, so 90 and 10? I got a 60% of the company and we got a, another of minor shareholders which helped me on the beginning uh, with the start of the company. And how much have they put in to help you from the beginning? There was no more than 20,000 altogether. I invest my own uh, over nearly 200,000 in, in the business. 200,000 pounds? Wow. And what for you, where has that been spent? Uh, unwisely, I did a lot of mistakes on the beginning. I hired, uh, I rent a warehouse, uh, 10 and a half thousand square feet. How much? Big. Offices and uh, hired people because I, I did believe, because I was watching the Dragons, then I, I want to do big. Oh, it's our fault then? No, 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 <laughs> Peter's, no, no, no joke. Well, it's Peter's fault, specifically. <laughs> no, I was normally, watching it for a series. When, normally, so, do that. Okay, and I said, I want to go minute, big. Hang on a minute, this is my, 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 my time, uh, thank you. So uh, it's Peter's at fault no, here. No, it's not, absolutely. So he's not I your favourite dragon. Was, That's no, good yes. to hear. Um, so you made some mistakes in the beginning. Absolutely. So how much would you write off of the 200,000 as a mistake? Uh, 100,000 for sure. Right now, you have absolutely no negotiating tools in here whatsoever. On June the 3rd, 2023, if you've done a cracking job, you hand this business back to these guys. There is nothing in here that gives you an automatic right of renewal. From my point of view, they will be only against themselves, how they can do it without us after years. Well, because you built their brand, they've got a really, really valuable asset over here. Why on earth would they renew? Mm -hmm. Job done. Market penetrated. Mm -hmm. I'm not spending my time building somebody else's brand for them. They won't be investing. I'm out. A lack of control over the future of the business has spooked Deborah Meaden. And it's left Tuka Suleiman wondering how an investor would get their money back. My question mark here is the fact that you don't own the brand, it's a distribution, and there could be no exit. Uh, yes, well, we believe at the moment the exit is to sell back to Karen Check. Have you got agreement to that? We are negotiating that agreement. But well, you moment. haven't got the agreement? No. no. I'm not doubting the product. Amazing product, as you say, but you don't own the brand. Once you've created the brand, the retailers want the brand. They don't care about you. I do wish you all the best, because you're going to make your friend rich. I'm out. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Tuka Suleiman joined Deborah Meaden in exiting over that controversial distribution contract. And Tej Lalvani has some words of wisdom on the pair's plans to back up the potential benefits of the product. A product like this, the most important thing is to show the effectiveness that it works. You'll need to do clinical trials in pretty much every region or territory that you launch in because they all have different licensing agencies. And the cost of doing a clinical trial, do you know how much that costs in the UK to do a clinical trial like this? Uh, about 120,000. Exactly. And to get the license will cost you a hell of a lot more. You're going to have to raise half a million pounds. I'm out. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. thank you. Mikhail, Tim, I'm concerned about the way that you've gone about setting this business up, Mikhail, particularly you, where you've having friendships in, in your home country is fantastic. Um, but what you should have done was, if you had such a huge amount of money, £200,000 to invest, you should have found a way to invest in the holding company in the Czech Republic. I could have been potentially interested, actually, in something like this. But ultimately, you've brought a distribution agency-style deal that I think isn't good enough. So, I'm out. OK, thank you. Peter Jones's departure leaves Jenny Campbell as the last dragon standing. Is she able to see the potential for profit 
in a business her fellow millionaires have shunned. So, I mean, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? it, it from where we're standing, I'm sure you can see that. You, you come into the den with a, um, an exclusivity agreement that you're halfway through, and all sorts of issues on extending or minimum purchase levels. How confident are you that you can renegotiate that exclusivity agreement, 100% confident. 100% yes. confident. OK, so I think this is complex. But I can see the belief in your eyes, Mikel, and certainly you've come on board, Tim, with the same belief. But I will make you an offer. So I will offer you all of the money. But because of the risk factors, multiple risk factors in this deal, I would want 25% of your business. Okay, thank you very much for the offer. Uh, can we uh, have a little discussion? Please go and talk to the wall. An 11th hour change of fortune as Jenny Campbell backs her gut instinct with an offer. And we tell them straightforward, transparently. But at 10% more than the entrepreneurs were offering, they have a tricky decision on their hands. Uh, thank you very much for your offer. We are able to accept your offer. Thank you oh, very much. Well done. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. I look forward to Thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck, guys. The cosmetic duo have given up a quarter of the company, but leave the den with a £50,000 investment. I thought we lost it. I did say you shouldn't use their product before <laughs> making an offer. <laughs> I can't wait till we have our first yes. meeting. Yeah, we'd like to meet Jenny as soon as possible <laughs> to share our excitement and uh, our visions. And maybe yeah. open a bottle of champagne. Yeah. <laughs>